You're, you're not clear. What are you doing in my house? Get out! Get out of this house! Get out! Hello everybody, so today we are going to be looking at an animation created by none other than Jack Stauber. The animation is called Opal and it was released October 30th, 2020. And if you haven't watched the animation already, I highly recommend you do. It is honestly a really great animation and yeah, you guys should definitely check it out. I'll put it in the description so you can um, watch it. Oh, disclaimer really quick. Sorry, one second. Hello, I'm Disclaimer. Disclaimer once again wants to say that Wild Man 2 and 2 is bound to get things wrong. This is just his interpretation. And uh, yes, please, um, please don't kill him in the comments. Thank you so much, Disclaimer, for always carrying the channel. But yeah, my name is Wild Man 2 and 2. Please don't forget to subscribe. It would mean a lot. And <laughs> yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. The story of Opal follows the life of a woman named Claire and the broken family whom she's done her best to care for. At the end of the animation, we learn the truth about who Opal really is. Opal is nothing more than a hamburger franchise whom Claire has chosen to identify with. The billboard showcases a little girl in complete bliss, surrounded by a family who loves her unconditionally and would never take her for granted. While Claire, on the other hand, is unfortunately burdened with the deterioration of her own family, slowly falling deeper into their own obsessions and addictions, Opal has become a way for Claire to disassociate, a way for her to escape her corrupted family who she's done all she can for. At the beginning of the animation, Opal, who we now know to be Claire, is surrounded by a family who adores her. In this scene, we are quite literally inside of the mind of Claire, a figment of her own imagination, a fictional world created from a burger advertisement. Her own psyche is even warning her of the dangers of reality. Her mind is telling her that it's safer to disassociate to remain in this false reality, as the truth is far more dangerous. However, there is an issue. Claire has gone so far down this false reality that she wants to escape, and so she does, returning to reality unaware of the dangers that lie ahead. As Claire returns to reality, she carries on the persona of Opal behaving as a child in a stranger's home, when in reality, the home is hers, and so is the family. Three family members are inside of the home, and for the sake of the video I will be naming each of these family members. An elderly man named Ron, a young man named Jack, and a young woman named Marceline. All three suffering from obsessions and or addictions. Ron is consumed by addiction and obsessed with wanting to breathe easy, while making his lungs worse by the continued consumption of cigarettes, which are doing him the exact opposite. Ron refuses help, even though his addiction is quite literally killing him. He resents Claire for trying to help him, saying things like, Ron is blind and listens to the TV, constantly being pestered by advertisements who he claims are trying to take his soul. Now this can be a direct reference to the aggressive advertisement that is typically aimed towards the elderly. But then Ron begins to notice that Claire isn't behaving like herself, as she has taken on the persona of the girl in the billboard. He also notes that she smells different. And so, his paranoia takes over, and he assumes her to be a stranger in his home. Shortly after running away from Ron, 
Claire finds herself stuck in a conversation with Jack, completely surrounded by mirrors. Jack is obsessed with his appearance, trapped inside a reflection chamber. Now Jack is evidently suffering from BDD, body dysmorphic disorder. And for those of you that aren't familiar with BDD, it is a disorder that causes people to believe that parts of their body look ugly. People with BDD spend hours focused on what they think is wrong with their looks. Many times a day, they do things to check, fix, cover up, or ask others about their looks. They focus on the flaws that seem minor to others. Claire has tried to help Jack, but just like Ron, he refuses help and denies that there's anything wrong with him. He justifies these actions by saying things like, That's just part of my journey, you know? I'm just a small, I'm like a tiny, growing thing. Everybody's so mad at me. Like, I'm growing, though. Like, why be so negative? Why do people look at me like the way you probably are right now? And there is something else wrong with Jack. As well as suffering from BDD, he also suffers from a superiority complex, claiming that God is in his skin, and that he's crafting the world's next new savior. His feelings are erratic. He feels next to godly one second, then feeling horribly the next when Claire runs away. Where are you going? Oh, you know how this makes me feel. The last member of the family Claire encounters is Marceline. Utterly consumed by her own condition, Marceline is in an extremely unhealthy state. Her face disfigured, her physical strength drained. Her abusive use of pills and wine has drained her. However, there is something different about Marceline. She is in fact aware of her mistakes, aware of how far this addiction has gotten. How did this get so bad? I feel terrible for all the things. I feel terrible. She longs for her mother, memories of her mother dialing 911 after she overdosed, and memories of her mother hitting her. The final room Claire enters is that of her own, the room where she chooses to disassociate the room where she escapes from reality. However, this is where Claire's illusion is broken. She realizes that she is not Opal. She realizes that she isn't in a stranger's home, being attacked by strangers. But rather, this is her own home, and this is her family. And so, Claire does the only thing she can do. She falls right back into her false reality, an illusion of comfort, in a home she cannot escape. And as for Claire's position in the family, I do believe that it is likely Claire could be the mother of both Jack and Marceline, and Ron could be Claire's father. Her father and her two children living in one home. A possible explanation for Claire being the mother of Jack and Marceline is that Marceline is seen reminiscing on memories with her mother, with one of the memories being of her mother hitting her. This could be a possible explanation as to why Marceline refers to her mother by her first name, Claire. She has no fondness towards her mother, even though Claire was the one to call 911 when she did experience an overdose. The story of Opal is about a woman who has given her all to her family, and all she receives in return is resentment from a family who will never change their ways. A family fallen victim to addiction and obsession. They have truly destroyed Claire. Now, the only bliss Claire can find is in disassociation through a burger advertisement on the side of the road. For this is truly her only escape. But yeah, that was Opal by Jack Stauber. Explained. I hope that wasn't too depressing for you because it definitely was for me. 
But yes, if you haven't subscribed already, I highly recommend you do. It would mean so much to me. And if you want to check out my Twitter and my Twitch, those linked are those are linked down below. It would mean so much. But yeah, that is it for this video. If um, you made it this far, thank you. And um, stay awesome. I'll see you in the next one.